Hey everybody. Today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a cool way to set up a device inside of Ableton Live that lets you layer instruments on top of one another and then move through with a selector which sound you hear more of at a certain time. So you can make very complex layered sounds and suddenly change them as the audience is listening. So I'm going to come into instruments and I'm gonna grab an instrument rack and I'm gonna drop that down, okay? I click on the um, little chain selector here and it shows me all the chains, right? And then I'm able to drop multiple instruments in there. So I can come to this Miami pluck. I like that sound, I can drag and I can drop it in here, right? So it drops in an instance of that. You can see it's an operator um, inside of there um, and it's got all the stuff, it's got reverb, et cetera, et cetera, right? So the next thing I'm gonna do, take this moon pluck and I'm just gonna drop it in there as well. And instead of removing it and replacing it, it allows me to drop it down below. So now I've technically got two instruments on this track. And if I open that one up as well, you can see that one's an operator uh, and it's got its own compressor and all this sort of stuff on it as well. And then finally, this pluck. Um, yeah, why not? That pluck, we'll drag and we'll drop it there as well. And same story. It's just an operator. Um, and if I press a note on the keyboard, they all play together at the same time. Cool. And I'm just playing on my keyboard. Sorry, those uh, notes do not play very well together. Cool. So um, I'm triggering all these sounds at the same time. And what I want to do is I want to trigger them a bit uh, differently. So I can come here and I can click on the chain. And what I'm looking at now is, um, is a bunch of um, different looking things. You may never have seen this before. Looks like these guys are little eyes. Um, there's a blue line with a dot and we've got just a little sort of blue line that is moving across the screen. Uh, we can click these and we can drag them and they've got values, but they don't really tell you much about what they are. So I will explain it to you. Basically um, these, are our um, where the instrument sits uh, on a value of between 0 to 127, right? And if I click this guy and drag him and put him there, and if I click this guy and drag him and put him there, um, and I press the key again, you'll notice that no longer do they all play at the same time. Only the Miami plug plays. And if I grab the selector and I move it across, and then I press the key again, now the moon plug plays. And if I grab it, just the plug. So this selects which instrument. And what I can do is I can grab that and I can drag that all the way out. And I can play it all the way across. Um, and this guy, I can do the same. And this one as well. So I can have all of these sounds playing at the same time across the whole um, sequence or the whole, um, I don't know really what to call this, across the whole, um, all of the options that we have because we have between zero and 127 options, right? So this chain selector we can use and we can move it along here to play an instrument at a certain amount of time, at a certain time. And we could say, um, between zero and 164, the first instrument's gonna play. Between 32 and uh, 96, that instrument's gonna play. And then say between 64 and that, that instrument's gonna play. Right, but that's very abrupt and very sudden. So what I'm gonna do, instead of doing it like that, is I'm just gonna make these really um, long like that. And I'm gonna say, I want this Miami Pluck to kind of be, um, a central core sound. So I want it always to be playing. And what you can do is you can actually use this as a crossfader, right? And the value is crossfading from zero, so none of that sound, to 100% all of that sound. And I can crossfade like this. And I can um, mute these two other channels for a second. Right? So I can have that instrument moving in to um, in and out basically 
And then I could arrange it so that this instrument played like so. And if I turn it on. It starts adding on top. And now it's all that we can hear at the end. So we want to journey through these sounds. And the way I'm going to do it um, is maybe a little bit more. I don't know. I'm just going to play around with a different way of doing it from what I've done before. Um, let's just have a listen to this. That's way too much. I pull that there. And... Okay, and you can play around with this and get it the way you want. I just want to basically describe how it works. So for now, I've got this changing in sequence. And so next I'm going to grab an arpeggiator. And I'm going to turn that arpeggiator on. I'm going to put it on 16th notes. So now when I press the key, it's always re-triggering. And I'll turn that one on. Right, so we just journey through all of those sounds. And if I make it arpeggiate, and if I make it maybe random, random, it's not very musical, so let's go converge. Right, so we've got constant changing sounds, and I can right click this and I can go to the macro select, and maybe these sounds don't actually play that nicely together, and maybe that note up the top is a bit obnoxious, that's a bit better. Cool, but that's doing what we want it to do, it's playing through um, all of the different sounds that we've got in here and we can keep stacking that up and we can go nuts with it but that's a quick little example of how you can achieve something like a morphing sound and hopefully that inspires you to take that idea and do it your way